OK, to evaluate column A, we'll use the following rule. So 4 to the power of negative 3 will equal 1 over 4 to the power of 3. And 3 to the power of negative 4 will equal 1 over 3 to the power of 4. At this point, we might recognize that we're multiplying two positive numbers, and each number is less than 1. As such, the product must be less than 1, in which case column B is greater. Having said that, we can also try evaluating this. First, recognize that 4 to the power of 3 is equal to 64, and 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81. From here, we multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator to get the following. When we compare this with column B, we can see that column B must be greater, in which case our answer is B.